What's up guys and the excitement is back. The Samsung X AMD Exynos 1000 is in the making and it could be seriously powerful. I know we are excited about the AMD GPU but the CPU is equally exciting and could completely change the game. This year Samsung made a huge mistake going with its custom cores on the Exynos 990 whereas Qualcomm they stick to the ARM cores which is one of the reasons why the Snapdragon 865 is powerful and the Exynos 990 is weaker. Samsung learned their lesson so this time they're switching completely towards ARM cores and now we know why. ARM has officially announced the Cortex A78 core for high performance along with something we had no idea about, the all new ARM X1 Super Core built for ultimate performance. It's been reported that X1 has twice the performance gains and machine learning capabilities of the A78 cores. Samsung will most likely be using this on its Exynos 1000 5 nm chip destined to go inside the Galaxy S21 combined with the AMD Radeon graphics. This could make the next generation of Galaxy phones seriously powerful not just Exynos but Qualcomm Snapdragon devices as well. The Snapdragon 875 will also utilize the X1 core. Next year will be a big power upgrade indeed. Right now, Samsung has another chip on its hand, the Exynos 992. We actually have very little information on this chip, but there's a huge mega surprising news coming from Korean news source. According to ZD Korea, the Exynos 992 is actually a 5 nanometer chip. It's done and ready and designed to be inside the Galaxy Note 20. Samsung will start its mass production around August, which is the rumored date for the Galaxy Note and Fold to release. The whole timeline of this chip production is very in line with the Fold 2 and the Note so this could actually happen but according to the previous leak which said that it's a 6 nanometer chip but this could actually be a 5 nanometer. That is indeed a big surprise. Now it's also said to rock Cortex A78 cores from ARM which were just announced paired with the newly announced Melee G78 GPU. This is a 24 core GPU that has over 25% performance gains over the G77 GPU inside the Galaxy S20 family. It's around 10% power efficient, 15% gains in machine learning performance as well. All in all, it's looking like a decent upgrade over the GPU of the S20 family. This is how far ARM can go for 2020 late half and early 2021. Thankfully, Samsung won't be using this on its Galaxy S21 since AMD is coming with full steam. But for now, according to ZD Korea, this could be paired with the Exynos 992 chip for the Galaxy Note 20 family and in my opinion, that's a good upgrade over the GPU of the S20 family. So a 5 nanometer Exynos 992 with 25% efficiency over the S20's Exynos 990, a new efficient GPU, LTPO 120Hz screen, you see this epic efficient combo, now it makes sense for a 4500 mAh battery for the Note 20 Plus, this whole setup looks great for the battery. Exynos 992 is absolutely needed, without this Samsung cannot pull off the Note 20 lineup. Now more on Galaxy Note 20, we have some new colors coming into play so according to Galaxy Club the Note 20 will be offered in gray, green and copper colors whereas the Galaxy Note 20 Plus will debut in black and copper colors. The copper color will be similar to the copper of the Note 9 in my opinion it looked really really good. A Galaxy Note 20 Plus with this color is something that I would like to see. Design is already a better upgrade over the S20 Ultra. It also has the fixed 108 megapixel sensor along with the periscope zoom minus the 100x marketing I definitely can't wait to test it out. With each leak, the Galaxy Note 20 is starting to become more and more exciting. So there you have it, the power is coming. Next year's chipset could be seriously powerful, but for now, the Exynos 992 is also looking very promising if it has the 5 nanometer chip and the latest Melee G78 GPU. If it really ends up in the Note 20 family, I think it is definitely going to be a great, great competitor to the Apple A14 coming with the iPhone 12 that is also also built on a 5 nanometer process. So as always, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and also drop a like, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.